So when you were going in these battles with Brady, did you ever verbalize it pre-snap? Every play. <laughs> I'm not playing with Brady. But he, he know, though, but that's the thing. Like, Julian, like, that's what we talk about. When Brady, he comes to the line, I'm saying, I'm telling you what you're running. That's what you would it's say? It's run. You'd say that? I'm telling you where it's coming. Yeah, it's like, that's that was my, my secret sauce was I, I stayed up. I stayed up and played the game after 2000, after 1998, mm -hmm. when me and Peyton Manning was first at the Pro Bowls, old school Pro Bowls. And I never, <laughs> and I never understand, I never understood Peyton's wife, so cool. She's, yes. oh my God, she's amazing. And she's like, he studies you all day, every day. And I'm like, really? Wow. So I need to change my game. So I started studying him more though. Right, you know, quarterbacks, all they do is click. So I built an entire room in my house just so I can watch film. So I became this guy that wanted to know everything when I went to Marvin Lewis and said, I want to know every check that a defense runs, that, that we run, that we have. Why do we check out? Why do we stay in a certain defense on, on first down to 10 or second? Right? So all of those little things, when you think about the game now, yeah, that's what you see missing from the defensive side of the game. Right, the defensive side of the game now is look, react. Our mine was look, destroy, or either intercept it or knock it down, not catch it and then me make the tackle. Because you've done the the work to know what's coming that or back what in. their tendency is. That back in, there. Rich, Rich, that back yeah. in. When you actually get to plan those type of chess match games against Brady and Peyton. It's the smallest things ever that will decide the wins and losses in that game. It's not this big touchdown or this. But no, it's the smallest things. It's me knowing Peyton comes to Pey Peyton comes to the line second down and eight, and I see that the receiver right leg is up on the line instead of his left leg is up on the line, and the outside receiver is back a yard. Then I know I'm getting that high low right now. So I know two driving up and number one coming in, and no, the corner can't make that play because yeah. the corner has to sit off. So the only person that could affect that play, if you know it's coming, is the middle backer. And that's the difference of when I watch football, I'm like screaming at kids, like, you got to know the game. If you can count the one, two, three as a middle linebacker, you can, you can be a very effective person. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.